The request, according to the finance minister, has become necessary due to the revenue shortfalls and budget deficits created by the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. According to him, the double shock of the pandemic and a global economic recession resulted in a revenue shortfall of 13.6 billion cities and unanticipated but necessary expenditures of approximately 11.7 billion cities. Governments in the media budget announced a reduction in the communication service tax from 9 to 6 percent and extended free water supply to Ghanaians for the next three months and free electricity supply to lifeline consumers for the rest of the year. Ahead of the approval of the 11.8 billion cities on Wednesday, the minority leader Haruna Idrisu questioned how responsible government has been in the use of resources for the management of the COVID-19 pandemic. Borrowing is borrowing, either borrowing under COVID or outside COVID or beyond COVID. You took 10 billion US dollars. The same Bank of Ghana Act provided in section 31 to 7, you relied on 6 where it said that the minister and the controller and the governor of the Bank of Ghana shall determine the limit, does not mean that the minister should not subject it to the necessary parliamentary approval in accordance with Article 181 of the Constitution. So it's in violation. It further stated, remember, it further stated that they can determine the limit. They can determine the limit. Bank of Ghana money is not public funds. Interesting. Say so when you have the opportunity to speak. 10 billion. Article 181. Subject yourself to it. Because it said that the minister shall determine the limit. But the limit shall not exceed 5% of previous revenue. Previous revenue was 58 billion. It's 10 billion, 10% of 58 billion. So, minister, you have questions to answer for violations of the Public Financial Management Act, for violations of Article 181 of the Constitution, and for violations of your own Fiscal Responsibility Act. In response, the Finance Minister outlined the areas of expenditure for the funds approved by Parliament for the management of COVID-19. But more importantly, there will be a lot more deliberateness um, as to the areas we want to go to in turning Ghana into a regional hub um, for logistics, for manufacturing. We already know we've started with the auto industry and that seems to be going very well. Um, so really for us, there's a lot of excitement as to how we can create an environment for entrepreneurship in a very stable macroeconomic era. Um, so that's what we look forward to. The 11.8 billion was well articulated as to how um, that will be used. Uh, but really, it's to ensure that we have stability um, these six months um, going and then segue it into the Batampa Ghana Cares Program.